Hey everybody, I'm Argelfonf, the Nancy Drew dude, and I'm going to be playing Letters from the Past. Sorry, Letter from the Past, Immortal Love. Figured I'd do a live stream of this game, because I'm doing a walkthrough for the sequel, which is being posted on my channel this week. So I believe this game came out in December 2015, and I like it. I think it's more fun than a barrel of monkeys. Uh, let's play on casual mode. Angelica. Oh no, they're after us. Jacques, darling, I'm scared. I don't want to marry that count. I won't let them catch you, my love. No! Uh, oh, Jacques, I will always love you. I hold your memory in my grasp. Well, that was creepy. Anyway, oh no! My true love got shot, and it's sad and tragic, and now I'm in jail. I, I'm in jail, which is definitely not good. How did I get here? Who are you? The time has come. Tell me, what do you remember? Your name? Or why you're here? Do you see her in your dreams? If you do, then all is not lost. So, um, I apparently have amnesia. Cool. A friend. I'm here to set you free. You're the only one who can save her. I have to save her. I've been dreaming about her. This is Demorten's curse at work. Your name is Jacques Perrault. You are scheduled to be executed, but I have other plans for you. This meeting is over. Take this. Thank you, kind stranger. Thank you. So that's... That's the storyline here. Uh, you know what? I, uh, the evil Count de Morten has cursed me somehow, taken away my memory. But I can still remember her. I've been dreaming about her. Angelica, I love you so much. That is your name, right, Angelica? Who are you, strange woman Angelica? Why do you visit me every night in my dreams? I've tried to escape, escaping through the corridors. I've tried to escape, I just can't get out of here. I just can't get out. I've been trying to escape, it's just, escape has been futile. It's too dark to see anything. I've got matches. Okay, light up this area with the matches, I presume. Hey, 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 people are joining the live stream. Looks like I've got about 14 people watching this. Hi, people, how's it going? Glad to have you here. So what's in this basket? Cheese? Delicious. Broken wine? Aww. Jacques Perrault. Kidnap revenge. Kidnap Angelica. I didn't kidnap her. I was trying to save her. I was trying to rescue her. Oh, no. Oh, dear. The wedding has been delayed. She was gravely wounded during her kidnapping. I was saving her. I did not shoot her. Oh. Wait. Count de Morten tends to his bride? I think I know the storyline here. I was saving her from this evil Count de Morten. The candle will be real. What's hidden here? Yeah, I, I haven't played this game in over a year, so I don't quite 100% remember everything that's going on, but I think that's the story. This, this evil Count de Morten is just being evil. Okay, so the candles reveal what's going on. Either that, or actually, I'm the real kidnapper. I'm not sure. Did I kidnap the Countess, uh, the Count's bride, or did did I save her from a loveless marriage with the Count? We await your signal. Your new cellmate will pass you to diagram P. This is a puzzle. Well, whoever I am, I've got friends helping me to escape with this signal. That's cool. So how do I escape from here? Oh, I've got the portrait parts, right. Okay, so I put them up here. What am I making a picture of? No, here, 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 there. Angelica. Angelica, I remember her. 
I remember now, I remember now, just I love Angelica. She's the greatest, I love her. I swear, I wasn't trying to kill her. Come on, come on, come on, Emma. I am not a kidnapper slash killer. I was trying to save her. The Count, I mean, his name is DeMorton, which means death, right? So he's obviously got to be a villain. Your friend told me you wouldn't remember anything. I can help you with that. And then we'll get out of here together. But I need some water first. Dude, just tell me what's going on. Don't, don't like... Okay, well, I've got some water here. I've got some water here, sir. My chest. It's, it's too hot. Hurry, in my pocket. Get out of here. Oh! The water was poisoned. Very badly poisoned. Fortunately, my friend had this in his pocket. Why couldn't he just said, hey, the instructions on how to escape are in my pocket. Like, that would have been more helpful than saying, get me water. And the water ended up being poisoned, the poor fellow. So let's see, this puzzle has just hit all the things in the right order. No, I did not kill him! No, no, Kaylee, I am not a serial killer. Ugh. You know, this game, now, now, that, now that I'm thinking about it this way, I, I'm a kidnapper and a poisoner. Maybe I am the culprit. I just don't know. I just don't know anymore. Just because I gave him the water, I didn't know the water was poisoned. It's not my fault that the water poisoned him and, and, and killed him and, and stuff. And it's a hidden objects challenge. So this is one of the useful hidden objects challenges where we find useful items, like this is information about me, I'm 30, hey look at me, I'm kinda hot. Kidnapping, attempted murder, I had a dagger, a dance card, bloodstained gloves, my handprint and broken sword were found on the body of the victim, death penalty, executed after 61 days, okay, that's some pretty conclusive evidence. And here's that bloody handprint which was found on a corpse. And, uh, during the chase, two of the guards were killed. Yep, that's the murder. Let me see, I think I'm building a map. Bloody gloves, dagger, ugh. What was that? Dance card? That's a dance card. There's the map. But yeah, no, 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 I'm finding objects which are related to the murder. I, I, I mean, I'm not finding random objects, I'm finding objects which are related to the storyline. Okay, fortunately I've got somebody in the live stream chat who is a lawyer and can defend me. Angelica, Jacques threatened to take me from my uncle's house. He said he'd kill anyone who tried to stop him. No! What? No, she did not write that testimony. No, she couldn't have. She loves me. Nicholas was the witness. Ah, so that's why they killed him. He knew I was innocent. And let's see if the handprint matches mine, okay? Instead of escaping from jail right away, I'm gonna be playing fingerprint paintings. Yeah, that's my handprint. That's the murderer's handprint. That is not a match. That is not a match. See? See? See, I told you I'm innocent. I told you I'm innocent. I swear. And now I'm off to finding random items. Uh, letters. Maybe those are important. An Uncle Pierre. I told Jacques Angelica was going to get married, and he went insane. He threatened me, saying he'd rather kill her. Uncle Pierre, did you just give false testimony about me? Uncle Pierre, I thought we were relatives. You're not getting a Christmas present this year, Uncle Pierre. You're, you're not getting a Christmas present. I swear I'm innocent. Everybody just keeps saying I'm guilty. Well, let's see what's in these letters. Ooh, kiss letters. Jacques, forgive me. The prosecutor confused me and twisted my words. 
I should tell the truth about her secret marriage so they won't make me testify against you. I'll find her marriage certificate and free you. I'll love you forever, Angelica. See? See, I'm married to Angelica. Hmm? She's my wife. This is, this is totally, totally proof that I'm, I'm innocent. Day more 10. Execute my order precisely. Don't fail me this time. Poison Jacques Perrault on the 60th day. I'll take his body. Day more 10. Trying to kill me. Trying to kill me. I didn't kill my wife. Go away, mouse. For your disobedience and treachery, this castle will become your prison. Valerie. Ha ha ha. I wonder who Valerie is. Let's see. Do you think the poison worked already? Don't be in such a hurry. Sooner or later, he'll get thirsty. We just have to wait, and then get rid of the bodies. See, see, Damortens guards. They were ordered to poison me because they're nasty fellows. Okay, clean that off with ma. I uh, clean that moss off. It looks like I need another token. Gosh, I haven't played this game in a while. I'm totally forgetting what to do here. Um, key parts go here. There we go. Got a key. I'll use the hint button. Oh, hint button says I can use the chair. Okay. Killed my wife. Killed the prisoner, told a poor mouse to go away. Angelica is not dead. She's still alive, thank you. She's still alive, so I did not kill her by virtue of the fact that she's still alive. Okay, let's see if I can solve this puzzle. I think it's simple enough, right? Yep, there we go. This looks slightly more complicated. Got it. I'll need a key to unlock this. Nice hat. Can I get the hat? No, I can't get the hat. Okay. So now I can get out of here. I can get out of here because I've got... I've got this signal. Put the lantern here. Put the stencil there, which my friend said. Light it. Don't drink the water when you're in, in this prison, okay? Okay, so my friends helped me escape by shooting a cannonball into the wall of the prison. My friends seem you dangerous. There. Stop right where you are! Ah, stop! Oh geez, two more people have been murdered. Oh great, now everybody in the chat is gonna, is gonna, is gonna, is gonna say I'm a guilty, guilty, guilty person. Here, let me put out the flyer, fire with the basement. Oh! Thank you, friend. Ah, convenient escape route. But before we leave, we have to check out this. This is Valerie. The amulet will turn back time. In exchange, you'll live the last moments of your life forever. The only way to get it get free is to take it off, but you'll never break free down, Mallory. Ha ha ha! I can't pick up this amulet barehanded. Do I have anything to help pick it up with? That's five people on my killed list. Don't worry, everybody. The guards are still alive. They're not dead. We're gonna find them in just a moment outside, totally being fine and not dead. So yeah, this is a magical time amulet that was used to curse Valerie. It basically lets you go back in time, like 10 seconds. And he basically set it up so that she would relive these 10 seconds of being killed over and over and over again. But I can use this time traveling amulet to do awesome stuff. Yeah. Morton's first wife. De Morton imprisoned me for disobeying him. He became so angry and cruel. Not the same person I once loved. Totally not. He used this amulet to make me live the last moments of my life over and over again. It's power.
power to turn back time could be of use to you, though. Use it when you're in danger. Good luck. <laughs> Person saying, yeah, those people blew up into a million pieces, but they're fine. Thank you, Valerie. Okay, so I'm going to use the fetters and slide myself down. Jock, come down. The carriage is under the tree. Make sure to protect your hands so they don't burn you. And watch, we're totally going to see those two guards again. See? There they are. They're, they're not dead. They're fine. You let him go! Whoa. The more tense, like, cursing no. them. Oh, jeez! Find him and stop or dare his fate. I'll see to it myself, sir. See, I told you Jay Morten is the bad guy and not me. Totally, he's totally the bad guy. Oh, don't say those are two different guards. Those are clearly, 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 clearly the exact same guards. And that squirrel just stole my, stole my knife. Okay, watch this. Gotcha. It's my guard! The guard who just got captured. The guard who just got killed. See, he's still alive. He got killed twice, but he's still alive. Maybe maybe these guards are, you know, twins? I don't know. I think they just save money by reusing the same guard characters over and over and again. Anyway, time travel. Go back in time, like five seconds. This time, I put the nest down before dropping that particular acorn. Why is the squirrel whistling? I, I, I don't know. I don't know, somebody's saying that guard died because I got away, so it is technically my fault that he's punishing those guards. I, I, Look, I swear, those guards are okay. They're, they're, they're not dead. Yet. They're not dead. Yet. Look, I'm running out of matches here. So that's six people I've killed. No, no, I, I just explained those guards don't count as people who have been murdered. Because they're clearly still alive. Oh, I remember this hidden objects challenge being being something that takes forever. Okay, they need to find bones, coin. Hee <laughs> hee. What do reptiles eat? Flies. Somebody's saying they're... Oh, okay, so everybody's sure I'll find a way to kill those guards later, even though they survived that giant cannonball. I say we take the cannonball off the list of kills because they're still alive. That's all I'm saying. I might kill them later, but for now, they live. And butterfly. How do snakes weigh themselves? With scales! Ha ha! Okay, so now that I've got that squirrel out of the way, I got the knife so I can get this net. And I will use the net in order to kill this guy. I mean, I will use this net to get him out of the way so I can escape. And notice how he's not dead. Yeah, see? He's totally not dead. See? I did not kill him. Oh, and here's my friend, the guy with the mask. You're free now, but the danger is just beginning. We're going to your home. It will help you remember. Remember the truth. How can I get back my memories? Memories are attached to special items. Find them, and your memory will be restored piece by piece. Take a look in the chest while we have some time. So my memory will come back slowly as I, uh, as I just, you know, go through life. Find special items that will help me remember. Let's see, can I cut this? No, can I cut this? Okay, I'll take a look at the chest first. Wait, tweezers, I bet tweezers are for this. 
Those symbols totally look like a code. A rainbow code. Someday we'll find it. The rainbow connection. The lovers. The dreamers. And me. All of us under its spell. I think it's probably magic. It is almost song time, yeah. What? Oh, memory? Angelica. No one will come between us now. Not my uncle. Not that awful count. I'll play my part at the festival, and the elders will remove my candidacy. I'm hiding this letter here. Give it to my uncle once the festival is over. So, somebody's asking if Minette... <laughs> is part of the uh, mask group. Uh, part of the secret mask group, Minette being a character from Nancy Drew, Danger by Design. She probably is part of the evil mask group. Secret mask group. Angelica and me, she never took it off. She said it was so I would always live inside her heart. That's cute. So let's see, let's... It was Angelica on the right and me on the left, correct? Your memory will come back and you'll remember that you're the you're the culprit. I do not think that is the case. Yeah, Minette would totally be in this angry murderer group. I think I think she's a nasty person. She always like throws things around and stuff. Sleeping powder. Oh hey. And the letter. What does it say? Ah, you're remembering already. Uh, see the guard. I told you, it's the other guard. He's still alive. Save Angelica. Whatever it takes. Save us all. And my friend pushes me off of the moving carriage before crashing the carriage. Oh, and there goes the kill. Okay. Uh oh. That looked like a bomb. Okay, so my friend pushed me off of the carriage, crashed the carriage, the guard shot him, and left this bomb to kill him. And this is... this is not good. I'm gonna knock the... knock it aside. Oh no! Oh gosh, I killed a kitty! Okay, oh jeez. Oh jeez. Okay. Oh man, now everybody's saying he died because he knew me, he died because of me, and the kitty died too. But don't worry, I'm gonna go back in time and save my friend. Or just go back in time and save the kitty. Just gonna save the kitty. Gotta love how saving the kitty is number one on my to-do list. Okay, there we go. Save the kitty. Knock this out of the way. Basically, I set a net for the cat to fall into. So that is death number nine erased. I did everything in my power to save that cat. Didn't try to save my friend, but saved the cat. I remember this cat. It was a birthday gift for my love, Angelica. Here, Angelica, here's a cat. I promise to save its life if I have time traveling powers and accidentally blow it to death. Okay, where's that song? I know there's a song, right? Your memories are mine. Thanks, Counter Morton. Tired of your games, Demorton. Yeah, there's like a music player somewhere in this game. And hey, I just found. I found a, a hidden item. I was supposed to be finding them on every screen of the game. Oops. Oh well. What was in this letter? This is a confirm. <gasps> this is our marriage certificate. Our marriage certificate. We found it, everyone. Everyone agrees saving the cat was more important than saving my masked friend. Okay, so we can prove that I am married to Angelica, and therefore would not kill her. Let's 
see. So I'm making myself a long hook so I can clear these boards out of the way. I think I also need to get this knot. No, I need to use the knife. Yeah, because I need that piece of rope, and I've got a hidden objects challenge. How does this game start? Uh, well, just go back to the start of the video and watch. Oh look, there are kitties everywhere. No, it started with me waking up in jail with amnesia, and Count de Morton tries to kill me with poison. It was very sad, and I, I realized that I'm not the killer, and he actually killed me because I was trying to save my wife Angelica from him. I think that's the story. So now I've got to save Angelica, otherwise she'll be forced to marry this evil Count de Morton, and she's secretly married to me, so that will render the marriage invalid. I don't see any bullet. Oh, there's a bullet right through the middle of my forehead. That's not... Ew, that's not... Ow, I don't... I don't like that. Okay, open the door. It starts off with me killing five guards and... and two of my friends. <sighs> they weren't that good of friends. Oh, hey, there's the mask. My friend's mask. Guys, maybe my friend survived. His mask is, is totally okay. I mean, if he died for good, his mask wouldn't have been left behind, right? Maybe. Maybe. Well, I don't want to quit. What? No. I need something to clear these boards out of the way so I can cross. Great, great. Now let's go forward. Both of my friends were trying to save me from jail, and they died. It was tragic. So this is a town where I grew up, and it looks kind of abandoned. It it really does. It looks... Oh, there's a picture. Another item, which I guess I was supposed to find later. Oh, here's the kitty. My kitty always loved music. And I just broke the music machine. Okay, don't worry. I've got this. Oh wait, I remember. I don't even need to put things like kind of close to where they're supposed to go. Just, just drop them down on the music box and the game puts them into place. The cover is still missing. I need a special key. One who is not going to die. Who are you? You mean you don't know? It's the Countess de Morten. We thought she would help us, but no. She's increased taxes and forbidden festivals. The people are poor. Some of them tried to rebel, but they were executed or imprisoned. I'd watch out if I were you. There's a price on your head. No. But the man in the mask, who is he? I don't know, but he took a big risk getting you out of jail. The river could lead him to the forest. If the soldiers find him, he'll be dead for sure. Tonight's the night of the Red Moon. The night for executions. Creepy. I'm gonna get you out of here. You will not be on the list of friends of mine who have died. I'll be waiting. You're the only hope we've got, Shock. And he gave me a scrap of paper. Yeah, I've got to free whoever's trapped inside. I've got to help him. Really, the, I, 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 you know, too many people I know and love have been killed. One of them has to be saved. And day more ten. This is okay. So we've got to rebuild his wishing thing. And I think I can break this with a stone. I need to replace the missing parts. Monsieur Jacques, I must announce that your engagement to Angelica is dissolved. They chose her to become the bride of the Count. You, no more marriage, because the Count said he wants to marry her. That's not how marriage works. 
that's not at all how it works. You can't just say, oh, you guys weren't married after all. Somebody who's rich decided he wants to marry her instead. Find the rebels. Look carefully to your neighbors, wives, and friends. Disobedience will be punished. Help the Count and Countess de Morton. Restore peace and order. The one mask goes there. And I'm already back at breaking things. Hurry. Well, at least Valerie's on the list of dead people who I had nothing to do with their deaths. Thank you. One person I had nothing to do with her death. I'm totally innocent of that death. Let's see, I think I've got my knife here, so I can use my knife there on, on the rope. Is there a way to scroll through my inventory? I can't really... There's supposed to be, like, arrows, right and left arrows, but I don't see them. I need to reach that coat before it's gone with the wind. I think that's why I used... Well, I've been using these pieces of rope. Eh, yeah, whatever. Decoration is missing here. Let's put a scrap here. There we go, okay. So there's me and Angelica. Oh, and Nicholas! He mu See, Nicholas, he was our friend. He was the guy who died in the jail cell trying to save me. So his name was Nicholas. Our Santa Claus. But who are the other two people? Mask guy and and the other guy? Jacques, no. It wasn't my fault. It was a great honor to be an elder of Lavender Festival. I I tried to stop them. I told them Angelica wasn't a good match. No woman so willful could be the wife of a count. But they didn't listen. De Morten was adamant that he would marry her. We had to obey. Please, don't do anything stupid. Uh oh what the luck's on my side now that reward is as good as mine okay so that was a minor scene of me getting mad at my friend nicholas because he was on the council of elders who who suggested that de morton marry angelica he tried to convince the elders otherwise but just didn't work and now i've got a guard who has me at sword point i did not kill nicholas then i just I just shoved him backwards. I was angry about my wife. That's all. It wasn't murder. <sighs> yep, so, yeah. How much will my freedom cost, Mr. Guard? Hmm. The Morten promised to make us rich when we were done with you. So far, I haven't seen a single coin from him. Two bags of gold. And I'll forget I ever saw you. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, just... Yeah, no, I did not kill my friend Nicholas with poison on purpose. I didn't know that the water was poisoned. I, I swear. To be a Lavender Festival elder is a great honor. The elders not only decide one girl's fate, but the fate of the country. I was the elder who got promoted this year. Four of us from different cities. The Count told us only a special girl could be the Countess, and we had to find one. <laughs> love this for the Count. Are you young, beautiful, and looking for love? You could become the Countess. Okay, so these are all for the guards. I mean, for the elders. It was hard to find candidates. The Count only gave us a week. Within that short time, we had to find 20 women folk. The Count had certain demands, like, No hair like this! Pfft, that hair's awful. Ugh, eyeshadow, yuck. A lot of girls didn't meet his requirements, but he didn't spend much time making a coin. Uh, and making a choice, he pointed at Angelica and said, She was born under the proper star. Well, it's very sad that Jacques and Angelica won't be together now, but what can I do? Yeah, that guard is shady. That guard is really shady. Okay, so let's put all the rope together. So I can grab this coat. Unless I'm mistaken, I can look inside it. Oh, it's Nicholas's coat. Okay, what did Nicholas have in his pocket? That thing. And in his other pocket, a bullet capsule. Yeah. At this ch yeah, at this rate, just don't leave any witnesses, change your name, and move to a new village. 
There's practically nobody living in this village anyway, so... Yeah. Oh, this is a fun puzzle. Also, almost impossible if you make a mistake. Because that's what happens if you make a mistake. Everything rotates, yeah. Oh, no, no, the village is not empty because I killed everyone. The village is empty because of the evil Count Morten, and they're just trying to get away from him. That's all. That's all. I need to find a way to feed the raven. In any case, I think I've done enough of this murderous defense. Let's... Let's have song time. So these are wish bouquets. I want to be a countess. I want to earn gold and build a manor. Jack won't give up. I need your help, Pierre. Wait, what? No. Oh, oh no, this is Pierre, my uncle. Remember, my uncle is working with... My uncle who's working with De Morten. Wow, way to sell me out, uncle. I don't want to be your wife. I love Jacques. Don't ruin our lives. Well, we found a gold coin. Now we can help bribe the one guard. Well, feeding and saving animals, I'll... Oh, wait, I have the key. I can save my friend. Whoever this guy is. Oh, I have a crowbar. I can save him with a crowbar, too. Okay, so the guy who's inside... Don't trust the soldiers. They're not quite human. Nicholas's ghost. Flashback to the time I tried to choke him. Flashback to the time he tried to help me escape from prison, but died because I accidentally gave him poisoned water. Nicholas, you are a good man, and you didn't deserve... You, you deserved better. You deserved better than that, Nicholas. From the 20 ladies, the elders have chosen the 10 most beautiful. Ooh, look at them all. Giselle, Monique, Lorette, Janet, Milet, Marie, Anne, Beatrix, and Oriana. Also Angelica. Let's see, I need to find the four flags or something, right? That's heavy. I'll need to find a way to lift it. I think... Other flag here, I give it to this crow. Uh, maybe the gate key is this key. Is that another dead person? No, that's just a dead person puppet with money inside the mouth because reasons. That was creepy and strange. Creepy and strange. Oh, okay, I used the crowbar to lift that up. Okay, that was the puzzle. Okay. And now that I've found all these things, this is a puzzle. What you want to do is put them around things that are related, like... Okay, hand and sad mask apparently are related. There we go. And what, are these flags for like the various women folk who are in the competition? There we go. This pistol's out of ammo. I seem to remember this being a complicated puzzle. 
I put the sleeping powder and then I put the bullet down. Okay, I need to put the bullet up there. Told you it's complicated. It, but yeah, now I've got a bullet with sleeping powder inside. So I can shoot somebody and not kill them. Not kill them! But put them to sleep. And I still need to find some more gold coins. I don't see anything else here that I can click. Music time. Finally, music time. Have you lost what you were searching for? Have your hopes all wandered out the door? Close your eyes, remember me right by your side. In our dreams, we'll never have to say goodbye. Though the world stands in our way, it can't break the promises we made. I'm here, right here, right where. Oh no! Backing away cut off the music. That's sad. Oh well. Oh, now the music's playing again. Okay, that calms down the cat. Anyway, I've got a video which is just that song by itself. It's called I'm Here, I think. Have you lost what you were searching for? Have your hopes all wandered out the door? Close your eyes, remember me right by your side. In our dreams, we never have to say goodbye. Though the world stands in our way, they can't break the promises we made. I'm here, right here. Right where always be, the love is yours forever eternally. Let me be your shining star, there's no place on earth too far. There's no place on earth too far. There's no place on earth too far. Okay, I think I might have all the gold now. Okay, great. Okay, so two gold bags to bribe the guard. Two bags of gold, and I'll forget I ever saw you. A deal's a deal. As promised, I'll take the gold and deliver you to Demorten. What? No! That wasn't the deal. Oh, oh, and and now he keeps trying to stab me. Okay, so I time travel. Though the world stands in our way. Time travel, and this time I'll just shoot him. Oh, wait, I have to give him the gold and then shoot him? A deal's a deal. As promised, I'll take the gold. Why didn't I just shoot him to begin with and not collect all the gold? Oh, I feel a little funny. And he's asleep, not dead. This is not guy number 10 on the list of deaths. He's not moving, is he? Hi, kitty. Oh, and the kitty found something for me. That's nice. The kitty found the thing which opens the door. Aw, good kitty. That, he's, he's not dead, I swear. I swear he's not the 10th death. He was shot with sleeping pills, therefore he's asleep. Valerie. Hurry, Jock. Jock's my name, do not wear it out. He checks the gold to make sure it's actually gold before he gets shot. Oh well. There's something under here. I'll have to remove the screws in order to get it. It's a puzzle, isn't it? 
No, it's not. Hmm. Piece of paper. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hmm. He says heat would help, but he doesn't want my random piece of paper. Okay, four. So what? Oh, no, this is going to take forever, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, see, the puzzle looks... It works kind of like this. You try to match the numbers with each other. So, like, this is four, and then this is not nine, and then this one's three, and then this one's eight, it looks like, and this one's two. I'm solving the puzzle legitimately, everybody. This is not something people do. <laughs> So it looks like I've still got six and seven. Now I just need to find the right code, which was four and something else. Ladybug, ladybug, fly away home. Your house is on fire and your children are gone. All except one dear child. Oh no, they're after us. Jack, darling, I'm scared. I don't want to marry that count. And she hid under the frying pan. Though the world stands in our way, it can't break the promises we've made. See? And I'm so scared, there's statues of women- Ugh, why do we have bloody, blood-colored messages from Angelica to me? Was this my house? <sighs> this lid is too rusted to open. Alright, and we needed heat. Okay, so nine. Okay, so it's four and nine is the puzzle. so hard. Okay. No, no. Oh, I did it. Oh. Okay. That's not hard at all. That's a super easy puzzle. Hopefully that guard won't wake up. Angelica and I. Why do I still have this locket of her, by the way? And what do I do now? Hint button. Hint button says to go outside. See? He's snoring. You can hear him snore. He's still alive. There we go. Cool. So these go here. I guess I'll solve this puzzle legitimately too. I've got time. Oh. Wait. Oh, jeez. Um. Well, there's the umbrella. So umbrella here. Which one was the raindrop? There's the raindrop. Here we go. Umbrella and raindrop. So I've got a cat and the moon. I don't think any of these things match with the cat or the moon. Sun. Cannonballs, yeah, there was a cannon here, right? Ooh, there's a mouse. Cat and mouse, right? Horse and horseshoe. Windmill and key. Bag and arrow. Wasn't there like a feather or something? Ooh, heart and arrow. This matching puzzle gets um, significantly easier as time goes on because you've got fewer things to guess with. Here we go, feather and ink. That is not a dead person snore. Dead people do not snore. Key and house. Grain and windmill. Another kiss letter from Angelica. 
Angelica, I beg you, run away with me. My heart belongs to you. At midnight, I'll be waiting at the edge of the woods. Jock, we'll be together forever. Thank you, kitty. According to the clues, okay, top to bottom. So it looks like flowers, woman face, feather, and kitty. Okay, so what's in this room that Valerie wants me to see? He's coming. Oh no! Shot my time traveling amulet, and I was forced to jump out the window, and the guard shoots at me twice. I thought I killed that guard like three times already. How is he still alive? Angelica's true love is paper and pizza. Sweet dream. Oh! Yeah, so that was bad. You know, I was in the house, the guards shot at me, I tried to escape, the guards captured Shock, me. Can you hear me? Demorten and Angelica will be here soon. As long as you're alive, he can't consume Angelica's soul. You'll need the amulet to defeat him. It's still in your house. You must find a way to get out of the camp and get it back. Yeah, so that's what I was saying earlier on in this video, when it looks like I've killed these guards like three times, but no, they're both alive and well here, and they've captured me, so, so they're not dead. They're not dead. They're totally not dead. And But I'm gonna be dead soon if I can't figure out a way to escape. Okay, I got some matches. What do the strange symbols mean? I don't know. Man, I need something to smash with. Friend? Shh. Don't be alarmed. I'll explain everything. I'm Angelica's uncle, Pierre. I've revealed the truth about Demorten and realized I had to help you escape. You are her true love and the only one that can save her. She's been acting strangely for two months. When she acts more like herself, she talks about a certificate. Do you know what she means? Yeah, see, 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 like, those those guards didn't even have a scratch from the cannonball, or the net I dropped on them, or anything. In any case, yeah. oh man, Uncle Pierre was secretly helping us all along. He was not a traitor, he was actually a good guy trying to help. Thanks, Uncle Pierre. That is a giant spider. I do not like giant spiders. The hint button says I've got it. Oh, okay. I was missing that. Okay. There we go. I freed myself, everyone. Yay! People think Uncle Pierre. People do not agree whether Uncle Pierre looks shady or trustworthy. I think he's trustworthy. I need something to pry off this ring. Can't reach it, it's too high. Anyway, Uncle Pierre, here's the marriage certificate proving that I married Angelica. Please forgive me. I'll do everything I can to help you. At midnight, Demortan will come to see your execution. Angelica will be with him. Killing the Count is the only way to save her. The guard will be back soon. He can't see me here. Take this. Wait, I have to commit murder in order to save her? But I'm not a murderer! Forgive me, Jacques. I needed money and I wanted the best for my niece. Oh, oh, this is the guy who's talking to us. After the festival, I sent her home and signed the marriage contract. Then I found out you escaped. The Count sent people after you and you know the rest. I can't help you get out of camp by myself. I have to meet with De Morten to make sure he doesn't suspect anything. But we're in luck. The guard's afraid of spiders. I saw yellow flowers, marigolds. Hey, they attract spiders. Use them to get away from the guard. See? Spider loves marigolds. And spider on marigolds. Guard screams. You escape. Isn't that awesome? So yeah, I need to collect flowers here to stop the spiders. 
and people are already predicting that predicting that Uncle Pierre will die at the ha at my hands. What is the kill count, everyone? The kill count is like zero because these guards are all still alive. Wait, one, two, three. Yeah, which one of these three guards is the one that hates spiders? Oh, four guards. There are four guards. There are lots of guards here. Oh, and I got a nail puller. Okay, so that gives me some nails. Now I hate those eight pod beasts. They're everywhere, just waiting to attack me. I think that must be the one who's afraid of spiders. It, the one who's loudly cursing spiders. Safe bet, safe bet. Okay, so I've got a chain. I think I used it to pull that down. And it's broken, but don't worry, I'm gonna fix it. Nails and a hammer. Where do I put the ladder? Ladder up here. Okay. And it's hit an objects challenge. I haven't seen one of those in a while. I'm here. Right here. Oh, these are the flowers. Okay, so these are the magic flowers that get rid of spiders. Right. And also, randomly, we have to find targets. Targets and signboards. Because reasons. I need something to move the hay. Oh, gosh. How am I so bad at this? Here we go. Okay, that gets me... So where's the final signboard? Got it! Here's spider. Okay, so I got marigolds with a spider on it. I'm just gonna smash these pots with my hammer. Give me some keys. Come on, is there a key inside the third pot? I guess not. Okay, anyway, we're gonna put this spider on the guard, and I hope he doesn't die. Okay, so I took his rifle, and he's just sleeping. He's just sleeping, I'm sure. Right? Just sleeping. And disguised as a guard, I go through the guard camp and back to my old house. Okay, so this is going to be a puzzle. Yeah, everyone says he's dead. I knew it. How did I know everybody would make jokes about me murdering that guard? I need to find another heart. There it is. That seagull is very aggressive, so I'll just... Give a fish to the seagull. Okay, and this time I'm finding stick men because reasons. I think I know what happens. We have a big scene. Big scene coming up with Angelica. There's a ring behind these roots. So I cut these. Now I'm finding some lavender. Yes, yes. Yeah, there's a paper agreement between the middle. Okay. This hook okay. I used the statue of Damorten to knock that off to get myself a hook, which I put on the rope to give myself a grappling hook to go inside. And now I need to fix the amulet of time. Hi kitty! If I find the different types of crystal and the missing amulet parts, I can fix the amulet of time. I can go here. There's no point in me going to any of the other, other, other areas. So, uh, 
Oh gosh, what do I do now? I The Gazette. Countess Michelle de Morton died at midnight. Count Floris de Morton will appoint a new set of elders. Jeez. That Count, always finding new women to marry after his old women die. Oh, and this is my boat? How did my boat get filled with water? Jeez. Okay, crystal. Still need to find more parts. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that one final part was... I was supposed to click on that. Gives me this puzzle. Oh, gosh. I am never a fan of these puzzles. Uh, oh, oh, there we go. Cherry and cherry. Made one match. Gargoyle and gargoyle, yes. Flower. Doll and doll. Those are easy ones. Yarn and yarn. Yay! Wreath and wreath. I don't even know what that is. String and string, maybe? There we go, those two things together. <laughs> now people are wondering if that spider died. I don't I don't think the spider died, but if it did, it's not my fault. I just I, I put the spider on that guy's shoulder. It's not my fault that guy decided to kill the spider, right? It's so my fault, that poor spider. Knife and knife. Okay, earring. And earring. Okay, did we put... Ev did we find everything? Looks like I'm still missing something. Okay, apparently I'm leaving this room. Rascal, how did you escape? It doesn't oh. matter. I'll take care of this and get the reward I was promised. How did this guard show up? I totally forgot about this. Okay, so the guard we've put to sleep, he's still alive, told you. And now we're going to stop him by dropping a chandelier on him. And I, uh, he's sleeping. Sleeping. Yeah, no, no, that's... He's, he's like dead, dead. He, that's like, that's like dead. And I see he loves random garbage. Could we maybe steal that, uh, could we maybe, maybe steal that money back from him? And I get to tie that firmly as a plug for my boat. Earth am I missing? I know I'm missing something. I'm so bad at this. You mess with the wrong man, soldier. I am too handsome to be destroyed. Oh yeah, okay. Put oxidizer here. And these are all of Angelica's letters. Who put them here? I don't know. Jock de Morton's castle. It's very dangerous, Uncle Pierre. Okay, I think again this is one of those puzzles where you don't really have to put things in the right spot. You just have to just click and drag them. Just drag them to the center of the piece and the Do game will stay at the right spot. To the for your execution. This is your chance. My power isn't enough to fully charge the amulet. It can Calories. only be used a few times. You'll have to choose how you use it wisely. Yeah, see, see, I mean. Okay, so I've only got, like, three more uses of my time travel thing. Better use it wisely, okay? 
And yeah, I ruined my own chandelier. That was that was not a good good idea on my part. In any case, back to the camp. It's day more ten. Uncle Pierre told me that the only way to save Angelica was to murder Day Morten. I am not a killer, but I don't think there's anything else I can do. I'll just have to stab him in the back. Angelica, it's me. What are you doing? Angelica's gone. Now there's only the Countess de Morten. Hold him still. The Countess wants to kill him herself. What? No! Okay, so I tried to stab him, and Angelica saved him because, oh no! He clearly cast some sort of mind control spell on Angelica. That's the only explanation. Only explanation, and I'm going back in time. Hey, it's those two guards again. Huh? Didn't I just drop a chandelier on you, sir? How are you still alive? Okay, going back in time shortly. Well, what can I do differently? I don't think I could have lived with myself if I was a cold-blooded killer. I'll do something else instead. Instead of killing him, I'll How hide. You lose him. Find him and bring him here. If you fail me again, you'll all pay dearly. I'll show you. A night of my execution? Ha! Huh, I'm not going to be executed. Ha! Huh, I noticed a cannon back in the hut, but it's not loaded. So this is the part where we make a cannon, isn't it? Get myself a key. <laughs> right where I'll we'll always be. Yeah, so nobody died. Nobody died. The end. I'm a happy person. Yes, this is filled with goodies. Goodies like a cannonball, right? And a gunpowder flask. Great. So I've got all these items. Throw the hammer at his head instead of slowly walking up and killing him? That might have been an option. Okay, put everything back where it's supposed to go. Oh gosh. One. I think I put two drumsticks there on the drum. This weapon is broken. Okay, good. There's another cannonball somewhere. Shoe and shoe. Where do I put the wheels? One of the bats is not in place. Oh, okay. The wheels go on the cannonball. Or, or the cannon. There's a lot of traps in here. There's a bat. That is creepy. Where's the matching pistol here? Eat cake. Cake would be delicious right about now. I need to cut the rope. Great, okay. There's no ammo. So let's see, I put in gunpowder, I put in a cannonball. Now I light the cannon, and they will all die, ha 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 ha, metaphorically speaking, that is, not actually going to kill anyone. Uh-oh. What the? Oh no! They have a cannon of their own? Okay. Use my time traveling thing another time. Great, now I've only got one more use of my time travel. So I need to disable their cannon now. Good thing I'm still disguised as a guard, huh? Okay, gonna 
put a rag in there. That'll be a fun surprise. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, stabbing the guy is wrong. Shooting him with a cannon is totally right. I guess that's how this game rolls. It's locked. Okay, so I need to shoot at the correct angle because I want to set everything on fire. This is a puzzle, you want to be at the correct angle. There we go. Hopefully nobody's inside any of these tents that I'm just destroying. Oh, there we go, there's something I'm aiming for. All that gunpowder, what else am I aiming for? No way, Angelica could be in there. Wait, that's how I'm picking my targets based on whether or not Angelica might be there? But she's still under mind control. I should save her. I'm not blowing up that one, I'm going to escape on that one. Oh, the cannon, okay. Aha! So now that I've blown everything Jeff, where up. Where are you? What's happening to me? I'm so scared. Help me. Angelica watches your love dies. With your death, her soul will be mine. I've paid the price for what I've done. Please forgive me. Help her. Uncle Pierre steps in at the last moment and sacrifices himself so I might live. Oh man, now how am I gonna face Angelica? Well, at least she's back to normal, right? At least she's no longer mind controlled. Of course, you could always put that mind control spell on her again and undo all of my hard work. Yes, and yes, you people in the chat were right. Uncle Pierre died because of me. It was sad and tragic, and I will miss Uncle Pierre very much. Magic and all kinds of divination are strictly prohibited in De Morten's country. All illusionists will be arrested on sight. This is the fate card. Here, there's something inside these ropes. I need to untangle them in the correct order. There we go. Yeah. Random guessing for the win. Yay! Isn't the uncle the reason we were in the mess in the first place? Yeah, he only really made up for his own mistakes. Okay, so what am I seeing? I'm seeing Dead De Morten. A cemetery? De Morten's castle. Angelica's grave? No! Angelica can't be dead. That would be tragic. I need to cut these knots, by the way, so nobody can see me because I'm sort of a wanted prisoner. Oh, hey, and it stopped. Where are we? I can't leave until I'm sure there are no soldiers. Okay, coast is clear. Okay, so I'm here at the village. Woo! Okay, so I'm at the village. I am definitely at this village. What did Dave Morton do inside the hut? I don't know. I don't know. I think this is where the cemetery is. And those random cards had a picture of a cemetery, so I'm just going to run my whole life based on the fact that this is super important. Actually, there's his castle in the distance. I do want to get to his castle, too, and confront him. Save Angelica. Let's 
let's see. I'm trying to fix that um, little looper thingy, but it's not working. Did Dame Morten visit the cobbler? His initials. It's a curse. It's a curse. Okay, I think it puts a chisel here and a hammer here. Oh man, okay, so I'm being attacked by a cursed cursed cobbler. Time to use the last of my si sands of time, time turning. Close your eyes, remember me, and hide in your dreams. We'll never have to say goodbye, though the world stands in our way. We can't break the promises we've made. I don't know why I'm singing. Anyway, I found this. I will put it here. Finding myself a broken net and a stone wreath. Not sure. I, I could swear that like, there's a building here on the left that I'm supposed to visit, but I just don't... Oh, here we go. Ah, uh, De Morton's Castle. Right here. So that's what I'm trying to do with the donkey. I'm gonna get the... That's not a donkey, that's a horse. Anyway, I'm gonna get the horse to run full speed and smash that gate. And now I'll put this here, so that way, that way, now the cobbler zombie won't be able to kill me. Okay, this gives me a chip. Oh boy. Move the tokens to switch the two images. Tokens can only move when a path is clear. Oh gosh, I seem to remember this puzzle taking forever. Like, that horse goes there. And I have to clear the way for all the pieces, too, don't I? Hmm, okay, are you guys okay if I just skip this puzzle? Because that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm just gonna skip this puzzle. Your love is mine forever, eternally. Let me be your shining star. There's no place on earth too far. There's no place on earth too far. Cause I am your shining star. Let's go out and have fun at the bar. Okay, so that opens up the brand new area. Hooray, 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 we're here. So this is the old abandoned chapel where I get to find stuff. You'd need a sailor. Our instructions on how to untie that particular knot. Ha ha. Oh, ugh, what? Oh no, evil signs in this tea. I'm smashing that. Evil teacup. Needle and thread apparently work there for sewing. This is the cobbler's daughter. She had such a pretty comb. Let's see. I need to organize these shelves. Somehow. Those two things go together. Leaving up room for that thing. Leaving up room for that thing. Aha! And so the handle must be hidden here. I know where that is. I knew it. Aha! So there is an area I'm supposed to find. This is the shop on the left. I don't, I don't want to go to the cobbler's place. I want to go to the shop on the left here. I don't have a potion of strength, but maybe I can saw through these bars? I don't know, I need to find a way to get through those bars. Hmm. Found some apples for the horse, though. Hmm. Okay, going upstairs here. Uh, a 
tap might fix this. There we go. Still need some pieces in order to fix that picture. Oh, it's the kitten! Oh, he's so cute! Look at him! He's just so cute. It's just being an extra cute kitten. If this were restored, it would look lovely. That is a creepy looking thing that I'm restoring. And I'm grabbing myself a light. Yeah, I'm getting a little stuck here at this point in the game. I'm, 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 I'm just getting a little stuck. Oh, wait a minute. Code here, right? Oh, there was a message written there. Game didn't really give me any time to see it. Uh, maybe it was listed here in my journal. Oh, I'm in follow. Oh, these are different chapters of the game. Looks like we're on chapter four of six. So it looks like we're about halfway through. Okay. Okay, but where's my journal? I thought I had a journal. It's my task list. There's my notes. Oh, wow. My various achievements. Oh, they're all cat achievements. Oh, that's wonderful. Hmm. This just shows pictures. It doesn't look like it saves... It saves some of the notes, but not the note that I just found. Anyway, we've got a cat toy. I'm only going to assume we put the cat toy with the cat, because, come on, cats love cat toys. And here's the cone that belongs to the cobbler's daughter. Matthew, this is the cone that belongs to the cobbler's daughter. I have bewitched it. Bewitched all. I think this is what we need in order to save the cobbler. Because the cobbler was, was turned into a zombie, right? We're going to save him. Hello, cobbler zombie. Here's your daughter's comb. Demoten wanted to buy my daughter, but I refused. He used magic to make me sign the contract. Now, she's gone. That castle is cursed. No woman could survive there. It all started when Adele died during the Great Plague. Now the cemetery is filled with Demoten's graves. If you don't believe me, look and see for yourself. Okay, so he... All the graves, lots of graves in the cemetery, graves belonging to uh, De Morten's various wives. He's got a lot of wives, I should say. A lot of wives. There is actually a, a bonus game for this game, um, which we might want to play, I don't know. There we go, okay, so I'm just supposed to be turning these things together until they make symbols, right? Got it. Jumping down there is crazy, so I'm gonna use a rope to climb down. He murdered us all to bring her back. Nothing justifies his actions. Only women's names. So wait, he killed all of his wives to bring her back? Who's her? Is it that he really loved his first wife, but then she died, and so he murdered... He, he married, like, six other wives and killed every single one of them because he thought that would bring his first wife back. Is that the story? Is that why he was so peculiar or particular about marrying uh, Angelica? He had all sorts of requirements for what she must look like and such like that. He wanted her to look... I, I don't know. I don't see any of these items here. I'll get the other one later. 
Oh, is there nothing else I can look at before? Okay, I have to solve the hidden objects challenge before I can do anything. She's dead. You gotta move on, bro. You do. The one you seek isn't here. Go to Giselle's grave. She is the keeper of our memories. Of our memories. Dude. Snake. Here, Snake, have an apple. Okay, I've gotta find a way to get rid of that snake. Anyway, Giselle. Here's Giselle. Giselle de Morton. The statue does not want to let go. Lost something important. The wreath? I'm Giselle de Mortain, the keeper of the cemetery's memories. Have you noticed that there are only countesses' graves here? D yeah? None belong to a count. You'll find the answers you're looking for in the book. It happened to us all, and Angelica will share our fate. Just take a look. It's in the book. A reading rainbow. Okay, so, getting some stories, getting some backstory here. Oh uh, gosh, hat with a veil. Oh, I am just failing this hidden objects challenge, aren't I? A cup. That was not a cup. That's a bow. That's a boot. I clicked on that worm already, but the game didn't accept it. I need a pebble, a blade, and a, a, a cup and a cat. Blade. Cat. Really, a pebble could be anything. That's a pebble! Where's my cup? I don't see any cups, do you? Probably should give myself extra hints, but that would be cheating or something. That is not a cup. What? That is like a circle. Okay, I found a broken fan. Hmm, looks like I need another fan piece here. Stepping backwards, I imagine I'm using these for this puzzle. Oh, are not. Okay, fine. Those totally don't... don't... I can't open this book without a special emblem. I don't have a special emblem. Perhaps I use the gloves to get past that killer snake? Just gonna use a hint here. I really don't know what I'm doing. What? I didn't see that before. Huh. I've got a hedgehog here. Do I use that on the snake? Apparently I do. That gets rid of the snake because snakes hate hedgehogs. Good to know. Good to know. I don't think I can open up that. Where do I put those skull tokens? Nothing else here. Nothing else there. Okay, have I fixed the wheel? I have. Okay, gonna use some food on the horse. I did that already, game. There we go. Build a battering ram, and now I can reach the final area of the game. Do -do -do 
see is it possible for me to actually show the baby where are you baby um da 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 i don't see how we get the baby here nope that's not it ow 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 i'm trying to make it so we can show so you can see the baby. Um, just a moment, moment, mo, mo, mo. Here we go. Maybe. Is that no? That's just all that does is show the upper left hand corner of the game. Oh, well, okay. You guys don't need to see this game, right? Games are boring. Nobody likes video games. Oh wait, doesn't this map, uh, yeah, this map will show, um, areas where we can do things, like, apparently there's something I can do on the street, so let's go to the street, that's a big help, right, this is the thing I got the saw for, I wanted the file for here, okay, let's go back to actually showing the video game, now that I've got this thing. It's a peacock tail. Uh, 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 um, uh, baby is in her, uh, crib, and she is not playing video games. Nope. Oh, of course, of course. Hey. Come on, baby, you have a stinky pants anyway. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm gonna lose major husband points for that. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I probably am. So the baby had a stinky diaper. Why didn't you change the diaper? Well, I was really close to getting to the end of the level. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, no, my wife caught me with the baby, so, um, sorry, everybody. At least you got to have a little bit of baby time. Anyway, we're at Demorten's castle. Right, and we've got a couple of things to do here. Let me see. More thorns to remove. What happened to my big gloves? Here they are. It's too dark to see, and I'm out of matches. Finally out of matches. I've had, like, a ton of matches throughout the course of this game. So let's see. I'm stealing the gargoyle head, because that's how I roll. And unless I'm mistaken, I'm using the veil here as a net. So I can capture this fish. I'll need a shovel to dig that out. Using the fish on the pelican. Notice how I'm actually solving puzzles for real now. Okay, in order to solve this, I need to find the, the rest of the uh, little design. Whoa. I was warned about this trap. I was? Anyway, I need to find the correct symbols. Oh, maybe Valerie told me about it. I wasn't paying attention. And Day Morten went through here, but he closed the door, so I can't enter. So I can't follow. So I can't follow. Ooh, and that's where my skull tokens were supposed to go. Cool. Cool. Grabbing my map here. Going back to see, hey, what is this I missed inside the abandoned chapel? Here we go. Peacock tail. Peacock feather. Peacock. Okay, all those were all... That's what I was missing. Okay, so that gives me... Another one of these things, which I'll use here on this puzzle. Great, great. Okay, so after my brief moment of failure, I have, I have returned more powerful and puzzly than ever. So this is a puzzle where, obviously, I'm making pictures. 
It looks like it's the Count de Morton surrounded by a... Well, it looks like it's him deciding which woman is going to be his wife. Apparently he's gone through so many wives it's hard to keep track. Countess Valerie. Okay, yeah, Valerie was the first one, then he married Scarlet. 5, 15, 17. He's on number 100? He seriously had to marry 100 women. And, and look, 1705, 1766? No, wait. Yeah, I don't know. How, how many women? He married 100 women in less than like 20 years? What is that? What, what even is that? Okay, well, I got the emblem, which goes here. Let's find out more about this evil plot. It's evil, and I don't like it. Okay, move the missing things to the right spots. So, a church goes here. And that's a necklace, and something goes on his shoulder. Here we go. Everything started with Adele. She and the young Count de Martin were very much in love. Okay. Oh, this is a plague story, isn't it? wife died, but that still doesn't justify him marrying and killing a hundred other women just to bring her back. The plague took Adele from him. Mad with sorrow, the Count didn't leave the castle for months. Now there's another grave. Oh, that's unfortunate. Where would this button go? It's the moon. Eventually, the Count married. Valerie became the first Countess de Mortain. Valerie died shortly after their wedding. Two months later, the Count married again. After only three months, his second wife died on the night of an eclipse. And he basically kept up that rate of going through women until... Wow. Until he's on number 100. Took him like 20 years. This guy. This guy. I swear. Anyway, we're all finished with this uh, location in the game. Now let's go to the castle. I think, unless I'm mistaken, we go through the entire castle? Unless I'm mistaken. I could totally be mistaken. Anyway, this goes here. What we're trying to do is make the picture match. sure what I'm doing here. Like, what am I trying to match? Am I trying to match both eyes closed? Because I'm doing both eyes closed. Try that. Let's match this picture on the left. There we go. Oh, that's eye fully shut, not eye partially. Okay, whatever. I got a clue, which will help me get through the uh, evil gates. Or not. Okay. Not sure what that clue is for, then. Da -da 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 -da. 
I'm not quite sure what I'm doing here. Does anybody know? A piece of the stone crumbled away. Okay. I'll need a paper to make a note of these symbols. Okay, I've got the paper. I've got the charcoal. There we go. Select the stones that make each symbol. Okay, please tell me this is not one of those super difficult puzzles where I make one mistake and start over. That would be the worst. I can't see either of these symbols here. There's one. It's like a tiny thing. It's like a tiny, tiny... There. Okay, same puzzle. Oh, okay, it doesn't matter which order you do them in. Sweet. Game won't let you make mistakes, though. Okay. Hmm, tricky, tricky, tricky. Though the world stands in our way, it can't break the promises we've made. Ugh. Okay, that's one, and it goes with this. Uh, yeah? Can't find these other two. There's no penalty for missing, so I could find the other two just by random guessing until I get it, right? Here we go, there's one, two, got it. I do think there's a puzzle here, yes. Nobody makes it out of here alive. It's a nightmare. I think I can finish this fan now. Yeah, those were some evil gates. Okay. I think I could be wrong about where any of these things are supposed to go. Um, let's see. Oh, the two outside pieces can't be changed? Oh, okay. Well, that's... Okay, when you get a piece in place, it can't be moved. Okay, that's that's how that puzzle works. A monstrous domain. Okay, yeah, so we are going inside this house. Okay. Gargle head here, I presume. Cool. Now I can go up these stairs. I still need to find some more dual fragments, I see. Really? Okay. Doesn't look like I can find them here. Yeah, okay, so apparently if we're on the castle chapter, um, stuff to do inside each one of these scenes in the castle chapter. <laughs> Game says the thing to do here is use a hint. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, I've got my shovel. I'll dig this up. Right. Treasure. Maybe I can find a gift for Angelica inside, but I don't have a key. Yeah, that would make it very, very difficult. Yeah, so who has fire inside their house? Just, just, just everywhere? Are they trying to burn the place down and hurt people? Probably. 
probably that that is something Mr. Count would probably do. Well, as I recall, I don't really meet any characters here in the second half of the game. Oh, there's another piece. Yeah, we've had enough of those guards. No more guards, no more fighting. Just me going through the house. Learning more about Demortan. This is a puzzle where we try to get all the pieces inside in the right order. I don't know what it's a picture of, though, so that's making this kind of difficult for me. Looks like maybe it's a picture of a raven or something. Any of these outside pieces fit in? I think it might be a picture of a horse? I don't know. I hate one picture piece went into place. Oh, that works. This is the way to solve the puzzle if you have no idea what the picture is. Just move once, try every piece. Move once, try every piece. And I accidentally moved twice. Like most puzzles, it gets progressively simpler once you get all the more and more pieces into place. I bet this piece goes there, right? Okay, one more piece left. We got it. We got it. We're great. We're awesome. Woo! Creepy. Okay, Angelica's image on every painting would be a joy, but this one is on the creepy side. Oh yeah, that was a puzzle. Cool. There might be an older image behind this one. I'll need turpentine and a brush to clean it. Yes, I seem to recall this. feels wrong about that mirror. These scissors are too rusty to use. Something feels wrong about this mirror? There's nothing strange about it. Something strange about it. I should place garnet shards, love extract, and women's tears in the amulet to enhance its power. I'll also have to cast a special spell. I didn't gather the extract or the necessary amount of tears from Valerie yet. But it'll be enough for punishing her. Oh, so De Morten was creating his own time travel amulet, which, uh, it looks like the time travel amulet could be used to make someone live forever? Honestly, don't quite understand what his uh, goal is here, but I will accept it. So, dropper, I think turpentine goes here. And I needed a brush, and this is a hidden objects challenge. I haven't seen one in a while. Oh, this is one of those use items. Okay, I gotcha. Like, I find a key, and then I need to find a place where the key goes. Okay. Okay. Pretty sure. Sure, I can do this, maybe. Here's where the key goes. Okay, that gives me a candle. 
Angelica would never take off her beads. Okay, well, good for her. I need some light to view the picture. Candle here, obviously. Lighting up that picture, giving me this picture part, which I put over here. Why did the game not say that? Hint says I'm grabbing those. Okay, fine. I'm doing the beads first. The beads go there. This portrait is ragged. I need glue. I put glue here. This is kind of rough. Okay, so I put the glue on the brush and then I paint it before putting the picture there. Let's go here. Okay, more of the story, more backstory. Gotta love it. Do, do, do. Select the icon in the upper right to rotate a piece. Okay. That's obviously a picture of Valerie. I think it goes here at the bottom. There we go. Alrighty. Gosh, I'm so bad at this. Okay. stuff done. Just trying to get all these pictures here together. I did a speed run for this game a while ago. I, I totally don't remember at all how to play the game. A puzzle like this with the skip button, what you do for a speed run is, um, you set the skip button to like 10 seconds and then skip as many puzzles as possible. I don't know what the, the minimum is for uh, speedrun skips. I'm Giselda Morton, wife number 15. I don't believe the rumors. He loves me and, and he lets me do whatever I want. No, it's true. He's mad and keeps his first wife's dead body around. He's been, he's been following me. Because, yeah, yeah, set skip to, uh, this is what you do in a speedrun, is set hint and skip to, like, ten seconds. Basically to the smallest amount possible, that way you can skip puzzles, as many puzzles as, 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 as quickly. It's just how speedruns work, I guess. Some puzzles are fast enough, I mean, some puzzles are slow enough that doing them Puzzles are slow enough that you can beat them in under 10 seconds. That puzzle right there obviously was not one of them. And so, you know, I don't remember how to solve the puzzle the real way, because <laughs> I haven't done that. Okay. This looks good, right? Perhaps I have her hair, two hair pieces mixed up. Here we go. That is gross. He keeps his dead wife's body in in the castle. That's that's really sick. So this is Adele's crypt. De Morton's really ready to kill Angelica for her. Adele, my heart is yours forever. I'll bring you back. Trust me. 
Oh no, oh no. Okay, so we're gonna try to make his little recipe, uh, his magic recipe. A ruby might fit here. I totally wasn't paying attention when that happened. Okay, what, what did I just do? You know what? Let's just do this hidden objects challenge. Where are her eyes? There's an eye. I need to find another eye for her. Opposites. Happy, sad. Oh, I found some paper. Butterfly and spider. Yeah, I feel like, you know, just skipping all the puzzles here, though, would, would ruin the fun. That's, that's something I can do in a live stream, is, you know, take my time and solve the puzzle. Because, you know, there are some games where it's like, this puzzle is fun, but it would take me 15 minutes to solve. But I've got, uh, you know, I, I'm not under a time limit here. Okay, so Adele, I found a way. I bring you back. I made a deal with death. The price is high, but I'll be willing to pay it. I have to gather innocent souls and fill the medallion with them. Okay, that is not exactly an opposite there. In fact, that's more like find two things that are related. Feather, quill, and a, okay, a lock, and a key. One more, black cat and a shamrock. Okay, those are opposites. That gives me a broken amulet. Okay, now I'm gonna use a hint here and pay attention this time. Ruby goes there. I see. Okay, so I need something else to open up this too. Okay. Back. I'm already in the crypt, thank you. Back to the start of the castle. What do I do here at the front? Okay, there's some oil here. Collect the oil with a dropper. One step forward. Oh, I totally haven't even seen this before. Okay, and I just destroyed that thing. Oh my goodness. This brush needs a new brush. Dip the brush into turpentine, remove the newer paint from the canvas safely. And now I have an eyeball. Okay, so I need to find some sort of hair or something for the brush. <laughs> People saying they wish they could fast forward. Yeah, I wish I could fast forward this part too. Get back to the story. I do not know what this... I'm gonna skip this. It's a picture of a guy fighting. Angelica will be the last one. Her soul is perfect. I can't believe it, but she even looks like Adele. Same eyes, lips, same height. I used a spell and killed everything it loved and robbed her of her memories. But I can't take her soul. Something's holding her back. She's connected to Jock somehow. Tonight's the Crimson Moon. I'll get rid of Jock and finally have Adele back. So that's why he was so obsessed with framing me for murder. I had to die because my love was so strong. It was, it was, it was keeping, keeping her from loving him. If he'd bring Adele back, he would be horrified with what she did. She would be horrified with what he did and then leave him forever. That probably would happen. Yeah, I, I think that's that actually would be a very logical chain of events. I can dip the brush into turpentine. Remove the layer of paint. And it's a picture of the Count with a dead woman. That's creepy. Pieces here. It looks like I need to find one more piece of the uh, of the amulet. De Morton had a lot of wives, and each one loved him. Find proof of their love. Marriage agreement. Okay. Do, 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 do. Butterfly love. Oh, I guess the butterflies go here with all the other butterflies, right? Oh, 
Well, I didn't read that marriage agreement. Anyway... And do do gets the dowry. These are all the exact same. It's just a different woman's name on each one of these marriage agreements. <laughs> Other than that, they appear to be the same. Need to find some way to open that. Do I have anything? Oh, I do. Here we go, final butterfly. Heart made of butterflies. She's in love with her broken heart. Okay, back to the crypts. Heart opens up that. I need to pour the ingredients here, all right. Now to add some sand, the ruby sand. Great, okay, we've done it. So, we fixed the amulet, great. This gives me an evil hand. So where, where does that go? I don't know. Back here in Adele's crypt. Okay. Evil hand goes here. Giving me a new hidden objects challenge. Okay. Oh, no. No, no. I don't want to see this. Hand and foot are opposites. Man and woman, I guess, are opposites. Right, here we go, those are two matching things. Yeah, we've clearly reached the point where nothing's going to happen until the very end of the game. <laughs> Aww, poor game. Yeah, so it's basically, we saw Dave Morten lead his wife into, uh, I mean, he led, he led her into this area, and so... And, and, and then everything, everything up to that point was us just going through the castle and doing a bunch of stuff, going through the town, just so we could follow. What's this? These buttons look familiar. And I need to press those buttons in the right order. Here's a skull. I need to find these symbols. Ew, there's a creepy thing in his eye. too hot. I need to hook this with something. Okay, got myself a key. Angelica! Angelica's dead! Oh no, I failed her. But if I get to Morton's amulet, it might not be too late to save your soul, Angelica. I, I'm totally gonna save you. Don't you worry. De 
Morten has already begun the ritual. He must be stopped. Getting her wasn't easy. You infected her heart like a disease. Immortal love. Huh? She had to kill you herself, but you escaped. Now I understand. Even in death, Valerie's a nuisance. She was the most curious and discovered my secret. She had to be punished. Her amulet won't help you now. Uh, this is bad. That could have gone better. And her amulet is totally gonna help me, bro. Let me see, I think this time I'm gonna fix this bridge rather than step on it. Yeah, that will be helpful. Okay, so while he's distracted, we've got more fragments here for whatever that is. I think that's it. I think we could solve it. Yeah, I thought that amulet wasn't working anymore. I guess we were just waiting for the right moment. This puzzle can't be too difficult. It's showing where the pieces have to go. It's Tetris! Time shall pass in another way for you. This amulet will slow down time. Your soul will be mine. Amulet of time reversal. Ooh. So I have to do something here? Hmm, let's see. Arrowhead? Yeah, that was creepy. Oh man, that that's like extra dextra extra dextra creepy. I don't even think that's a thing people say, and I agree. Okay, so a couple of things here. All oh, music come back. Chest key over there. We've got some sort of scroll that needs to be heated. Okay, I can totally heat it up. Uh, do, 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 just making sure there's nothing else anywhere that I, I'm forgetting. I, Count de Morton, guarantee to seal a hundred innocent souls in the amulet over a hundred years. Otherwise my powers will be dispelled and Adele's soul will be lost forever. Okay, use the crystals and the statuette. Supreme. Okay, there we go. Got his little statuette thingy. Now we're following after him. Right, okay, I remember this now. Getting her wasn't easy. You infected her heart like a disease. Immortal love, huh? Wait, the amulet! You've turned back time! Look, only one charge is left. You can't defeat me. Uh-oh. Really? Man! I thought I was finished with my time traveling ambulance. I've just upset this guy twice in a row now. So basically these things are working like horcruxes. Yeah, you could think of it that way. I could assemble, assemble the Amulet of Time Reversal, but I have to be near De Morton to do it. Okay. So I'm going to put the same spell he did on Valerie, which is basically freeze him in time. He's basically doing the last 10 seconds over and over and over and over and over again. That conveniently puts him out of the way so I can... Get this done. I need to swap the crystals, sorry. Now I need to remove the pins. Uh, 
And there you go, DeMartin. There goes your soul. Adele, it's really you. You should have let me go and lived your own life. I wanted to bring you back so we could be together. Now we'll never be together. I'm so sorry. Goodbye. I'll always love you. Yeah, this is the ending scene, I think. No, it's not the ending scene. I feel sorry for them. He should have gotten over her death and not killed like a hundred girls just to bring her back. But Adele, not Adele, <clears throat> but, but Angelica, are you alive again? I don't know. Hey, I got those little arrows at the side of the screen. Again. Yay! Okay, so something here. I grabbed the amulet. Okay, I grabbed De Morten's amulet. Am I going to use this amulet here? That's not my Angelica. Wrong girl. Ugh, pretty, but not Angelica. I don't care about these girls. They're not my wife. There she is, Angelica! Jacques, promise me we'll never be apart again, and that our love will never die. And please, break De Morten's amulet, just to be safe. Aww. So they live happily ever after, and I presume... I presume that he goes back and saves... saves, uh... saves those other women who died, right? Do you want to continue playing to find all the collectibles or morphing objects? Hint button is not going to be any help finding these uh, hidden objects, is it? Yep, no, it's not. Okay, well, that's it for this game. I know there's a bonus game, but we've been live streaming for like two hours now, so I'm just going to end things here and say uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.